Hello everybody, so um, today what we're going to do is we're going to cook a blackened tautog tacos or you know blackened blackfish tacos and um, it's pretty simple and I think you're going to like it and you could probably substitute this recipe with almost any fish other than maybe salmon because of its different flavor profile but uh, right now I just have two uh, small strips of the of the uh, tautog that I caught and here's uh, me catching it right here nice oh this is a nice fish keeper look at this guy so psyched about this And if you'd like to see the uh, full video of that little Tautog outing, you I'm um, posting it at the end of this video. You can you can check that one out. So anyway, for the last you know half an hour, I've had these uh, thin fillets sitting in lime juice. Okay, so I just wanted it to be a little bit in, infused with lime, and also the fact that it's wet with lime juice means it's going to be able to the. Uh, the spices we're going to add now are going to be able to adhere. So we're going to do a little bit of salt. Um, I want to get some thyme on there now because that'll tend to fall off a little bit. A little bit of uh, garlic powder. I don't like too much garlic. Some onion powder. And we're going to go a little bit heavier on the cayenne because, you know, we're going to be basically uh, diluting the heat with another ingredient in the taco that you'll see. Okay. And now, uh, paprika. Before we get these in the pan, I want to prepare the soft taco for what's next. I don't want to have the fish uh, done without the other part of the preparation uh, taken care of as well. It's all about timing. Here's our soft taco. What we want to do is put a little coating on, on half of it of of hummus. I happen to have a red pepper hummus and I just you know want to put a little bit of a liberal amount just to give it another flavor profile on this you know so when we fold it over you're gonna have it um, on one side. Next I want to take uh, shredded basically shredded Mexican cheese that you can buy in the store and I'm going to be putting it uh, again another liberal amount on this this is going to end up on the barbecue grill right now the barbecue is heating up probably up to about 700 degrees and uh, we're going to come back to this in a minute. Now we're going to heat up this pan. When you uh, blacken fish or really anything else, you definitely want to have a hot surface. Okay, we're going to get the butter in the pan and, you know, i got to put the vent on, otherwise the house is going to smell like fish and we don't want that. This flame is up high. Remember, we're blackening it. So you definitely want to get that char. If the pan starts to dry out, you could always squeeze a little bit more lime in here to deglaze it and to get some of that steam.
pan's starting to dry out a little bit. I'm gonna give it a second and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more lime in there. All right, now I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna let it sit. There's a technique I like to use with a lot of uh, frying pan cooking. You still have the heat here. I'm going, I just turn the flame off to stop the burning process, okay? I've got another, you know, two minutes left on this fish just to sit here like this, and that's it. So now we're gonna put the fish on here, right on the, uh, putting the fish in the soft taco. barbecue grill and um, we're gonna get it's extremely hot we're gonna get this right on here and I'm gonna shut it for a minute we want this cheese to melt and we want the tortilla to crisp up a little bit okay there it is it was only about 60 seconds only because the grill was so hot char around the edges and how that cheese is melted so I'll tell you what what you couldn't do is smell um, the, this this tortilla smelled great it almost smelled like first of all you can hear hear that it's nice and crispy it smelled like I'm not sure how many of you have ever been to New York City and smelled the um, the pretzels that they cook on the cart with those coals that great smell is almost what this smelled like when it came off the grill. Now the final piece that I'm adding is a, uh, a corn salad or a corn slaw that we made. It's got corn, uh, cherry tomatoes, some uh, parsley, a little feta cheese. And it's cold. So you've got that heat, not only in temperature, but also the heat from the cayenne. And with this, with this corn, uh, it's great. And then of course, a little bit more lime. And there you have it. So, um, you know, you can change the ingredients a little bit as you like, but hopefully this gives you some great ideas. Definitely try this. Um, Again, the corn salad, it's corn. You know, I left out uh, diced cucumber too. Diced cucumber, corn, that's been cooked of course. Uh, sliced up cherry tomatoes and uh, feta cheese. And, uh, and there's some lime juice in there too. So hopefully this, uh, this recipe you like. And um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and also the uh, bell notification for future videos and uh, off to the uh, to the side here you'll see the video of me fishing for the tautog that I used to make this dish hope you have a great day everyone and come back